So I'm stood in front of the fish pass at Diglis to explain what a fish pass is. So a fish pass is a structure that we put in the river to help fish get past a barrier or an obstacle that they simply can't get past any other way. You may hear the word fish way used, that tends to be used in the States, and sometimes we even hear the term fish ladder. But I think it's more helpful to think about this kind of fish pass as actually a staircase, because the structure contains a series of pools at different heights, ascending heights, so like little steps to get up the stairs, um, and each pool is a manageable height above the previous one, so the fish can swim up between them, and in a series of steps get from one level at the bottom of the weir up to the new level at the top. I'm stood here in what is going to be the entrance to the Diglis Weir Fish Pass. Behind me here, this is the entrance, and these steel piles, when we're finished in here, will be cut down, and the fish will be able to swim in through this entrance here and start working their way through the fish pass. So I'm now entering what is the first of 11 pools here at the, along the fish pass. Each pool has around a 200 millimeter gradient gain in each one, which kind of corresponds roughly with the height of the weir, so enable the fish to work their way through. What happens here is that the water will channel in from either side here in front of me with these uh, openings. They're 500 millimeters wide that enable the fish to come through. The water channels through against the C-section and then goes round and back through the gaps here. The fish will come through the gaps between the C-sections, which are known as the nibs, and they'll come in here and they typically rest in behind the nib here, have a bit of a rest, and then they'll uh, carry on and work their way through into the next pool and right the way through to the end of the fish pass. So as, as the water comes through, through these sections to allow the fish to come through, it comes off this angled bit of the section there, runs in into the C-section behind us, that breaks up the flow and that enables uh, the breaks, breaks up the flow, slows it up for the fish, makes it easier for them to pass through. The base of this pool, uh, once completed, will consist of uh, stone uh, to, a, to a high level. And this is what these, these features are here for. They're not for any other feature than purely just to hold the stone back in each of the pools. So the stone will come up to this level, slightly below where this, uh, this pillar is, and this, this will hold the stone back in rather than it washing through the fish pass and, up and back out. So we have two windows here. A smaller window here on the left which will principally be used for fisheries monitoring via a camera. On this side here there will be a, a window that's about two and a half metres by two metres uh, in, in size. Really bigger window which will be great for the viewing, taking people in on these guided tours and uh, young people uh, to, to get a great perspective of uh, life underwater. During the migration season we have the ability to uh, affix a screen um, on, this, on this side which makes sure the fish will be channeled round and in front of the viewing window here There'll be about a 500 millimetre gap here for the fish to get through, right in front of the window, and there'll also be a backlight to help ensure the uh, visibility is good uh, if the water, water is a little bit turbid at the time. So our viewing gallery with our view window will be open to visitors from the springtime, just in time for the migration run for the shad in April and May time. If you'd like to find out more about what we're offering and keep, keep up to date with where we are, uh, please visit our website, unlockingthe7.co.uk, and uh, we'll have plenty of information and updates as we go through.